video, I'm going to show you how to set up two separate monitoring paths for your next live stream or recording session. Hey guys, this is Nathan from Harrison Consoles and welcome back to the channel. There are many different situations in where you would want to have two separate monitoring paths. Maybe you're sending a signal to the front of house, but you also want to have a separate mix for your headphones. And when you solo something in the headphones, you don't want that to interrupt anything that's going on with your main mix. So let me show you how to get that set up. On the master bus, you can see there's a separate monitoring path. When we click this button, a separate monitor bus shows up. This gives us all the options to mono, dim, and mute, and also have PFL and AFL settings for when we solo a track. So the first thing we want to do is click on the output and make sure we set it to monitor in. This is going to ensure that we're sending our main mix to the monitor bus. Next, we're going to click on the monitoring grid and make sure we also set the master output to outputs one and two. Now for your headphone feed, that can be determined by the actual interface that you're using. But for me, I'm using an Evo 8 from Audient, and I'm gonna use the output three and four for my headphones. So now that we have both monitor paths set up, let me show you some examples of how to use this monitor bus. Right now we're in solo in place, which means if I solo any of the tracks, all the other tracks are gonna be muted this will also affect our main mix going to the front of house or our live stream. So obviously this is not the right mode that you want to be in when you're doing a front of house mix or a live stream. Now the next option is PFL. And what's great about this is this is a pre-fader level that does not interrupt your main mix. So now I'm gonna do the same exclusive solo as I did before, but it's only going to affect what I hear in my headphones. And this mode is independent of the actual fader level. So I can move the fader up and down and I'm still gonna hear the same volume no matter what. Okay, and the last example is AFL which means after fader level, and my listening volume will be dependent on the fader position. And since I have this separate monitoring path, I can also mono, dim, or mute my headphones, totally separate of what's going on with the main mix.